Hello everyone, in this video I will be showing you how to get like a nice cloth simulation or anything really on a Fortnite character. So basically I figured this out from Temptor on his latest video. Uh, he wasn't using a cloth simulation for his uh, demonstration of this add-on, but uh, it's the same effect. So basically it's this add-on that will just wiggle the bones to kind of like simulate the cloth. It's not actually simulating cloth, but just it makes it look like it. And it looks really well. And I think everyone should implement this into their workflow. So to install this add-on, you're gonna have to download it in the uh, description below. There'll be a Python script file. There might be a couple from different versions, but you install the latest one, which is probably at the top. And then once you've installed it, you know, get it somewhere safe. Um, you go into Blender, right? And to install it, you go up here to edit, boom, preferences, and then go to add-ons over here and then click install. And then basically just try to find that file. I'm just gonna search up Wiggle. No, it's not in project files, it's in my downloads. Okay, Wiggle, there it is. So this this one right here, so you click on it, install add-on, I've already installed it. And once you do it, it should pop up somewhere. And then just click the check mark, make sure the check mark is on. So that'll install it instantly. And then just go down to the bottom left and save preferences if you don't have auto save already. Click X. And then next thing you're gonna wanna do is import a Fortnite character. So I'm just gonna import say fish stick, right? Import this rig, here it is, looking great. Okay, so what I want to simulate uh, is these things right here. These like side straps on his hat right there and then also this top part on his hat. And also I'll like simulate these little things down here where his chin is. And then you can also probably, yeah that's all you can really simulate. I mean you could simulate some other things but I don't know, get creative with this. Okay so what you do is once you've already have it installed, basically I like to just I might just put these things in like a deep, more default position, more like downward. So I might just rotate this one a little bit. But this part doesn't really matter. Just have it how you want it. And then what you do basically, just hold, sh like click on one bone and then hold shift, click the next one and then go to the other side, hold shift, click and then click. So you have all of these bones selected. Over down here at the bone properties, click it. And then you'll see the add-on right here, wiggle bone, you should at least. Click it, check mark, and then already you'll have wiggle physics on it. So, okay, wait, let me select these other ones and add the, add the add-on. Oh shoot, boom, boom, check mark. There we go, everything should have it on, yep. Okay, next, I'm just gonna create a little anim like a head animation just to show the bone add-on. And now if we watch this back, it might look a little weird when you're scrubbing through, but if I just hide the bones, you can see it's sorta of, sorta of looking okay. It's sorta of looking like something. It might be a little intense for you, but you can change the settings. So, um, if you try to render this, it'll just basically be static, it won't have this, uh, jiggle effect, so, if you just render it out, it probably won't have it, so, let's see, let's select all the bones, okay, I think they're all selected, go down to wiggle bone, and then bake wiggle, that might take a minute to load, and then boom, they're all set to different keyframes, all of them, and now, Instead of using the wiggle add-on, it's actually disabled the wiggle add-on and just used the keyframes to rotate them. So yeah, that's basically it, guys. If you want more tutorials like this and add-on stuff, then you know, like, subscribe, stuff like that. But yeah. See you guys. Goodbye.